Virtual wrestling fans, Hank Kaplan here. I have been the principal figurehead of New York Extreme Wrestling since its inception. I am pleased to announce that everything for our final event is a go. Well, maybe except for one match in particular between Andrew Morris and Trent Cooper because given their history, uh, you may know exactly why that was a bit of a problem. But anyway, moving on. Outside of that match, all communications have been made and everything should be going off without a hitch. I want to especially thank Stas Quo, the owner of VGW, because thanks to him, a few of the NYX alums who carry VGW championships will be allowed to put their championships on the line at the event. So with that being said, here is the card for NYX One Night Stand 2022. Well, it's unfortunate, but NYX is shutting down again. I've been through this before. During this first run back in 2000 to the second run in 2016. But it's okay, because Ryan Hawkins is getting his rightful shot at the NYX World title. One more time for the NYX title. I've been wanting this ever since I was robbed by Alex Jordan back in September. That last show, that last match he and I had <laughs> he cheated to win, as always, using his girlfriend as a pawn in his little game to always get over on someone. But this time around, he'll have no place to run and no one to hide behind. Come one night stand, Brian Hawkins will be the NYX World Heavyweight Champion. Man, I, I, I can't believe it. The company that saved my life and my career back in 2002 get shut down again. Just like I got shut down in 2007. COVID's a son of a bitch. But, you know, we'll, we'll survive somehow. Me and Crazy Kenny were able to revive this company back in 2016 with the help of Hank Kaplan and Status Quo. I know, surprising, right? We've made magic for those five years of being up and running, but the pandemic cut us down once again. Too many canceled shows, too many talent getting sick, we just couldn't keep up. But having one last blowout makes it all worth it. Me and Kenny have not one but two huge tasks in front of us. The NYX Tag Champs, Darasaw and Betancourt. You, you may remember these guys if you were watching VGW. Darasaw and Betancourt, these two big bulkier eyes with Stormtrooper helmets, yeah. Formerly of the Heidenreich Syndicate, yeah. Those two have been a thorn in the side of the whole tag division, but at One Night Stand, we plucked that thorn and correct the wrong that was made a year ago when they stole the tag team championships from me and Kenny. So I hope those boys are ready for that TLC match because at One Night Stand, we're not holding back. You know, there's always been this talk of a certain guy who's in NYX who was called the king of the indies, Brody. Robinson. Now I respect what he's done for the industry. I respect what he's done for the indie scene, but he's not the king of the indies. I am. While you made NYX a pit stop for you, I've gone all over the world. I've wrestled for almost every single indie promotion in this universe. While you set up shop at NYX, you set up shop in Detroit Wrestling Federation, you set up shop at Cali Pro Wrestling. Yeah, you may have made appearances everywhere else, but I have put in the work, time, blood, sweat, tears, and hours. Hours upon hours upon hours of work into every single promotion. You settled 
and you want to call yourself the king of the Indies because you're older than me? I don't think so. So, I propose that we make our match at NYX when I stand a little bit more interesting. As a matter of fact, since you want to be called, since you want to call yourself the king of the Indies, I'll let you pick the stipulation. So what do you say, old man? Well, you say you go one-on-one -on -one with the X-Factor. But, you make this a little bit more interesting. Because I don't settle for mediocrity. Because when you step in the ring with me, you had better bring your A-game if you want to call yourself the king of the indies. Put your resume up against mine. And you, trust me, I've done more in my first five years than you've done in your entire career. I promise you. So, old man, it's on you. NYX, the place where it all started for me. The place where I got my training, the place where I got my foot in the door. The place that took a chance on me when no one else would. The place that got me to VGW in the first place. I was here pretty much a day worker, a jobber, taking the hits when no one else would. Being told that I would never be a champion. But NYX, they opened the door to me. And yeah, I had to still take those same hits. But I was always encouraged to keep trying and keep working hard. And after about 17 years, Panic of the Discord 3, the last show of VGW, I become World Heavyweight Champion. A lot of people will say that it's pretty much pointless since the company's under. And just like NYX, this company's out of business. So what are you going to do with the next gen championship? You know, go around and defend it like everyone else does with their championships? You're damn right I am. Because I worked too hard for this world title. And so what if everyone else is taking their championships on the road? Well, God damn it, there's going to be one more superstar out there taking their championship on the road because the next-gen championship means that much to me. All the hard work and sacrifice I made in NYX, VGW, led to that championship. I did everything I was supposed to do. I worked hard, and I finally got my shot, and I finally got the championship. And you to, if you think that I'm just going to squander this just because the company is no longer active, you're sadly mistaken. So if I want to take it on the road, I'm going to take it on the road. So what? I'll do what everyone else does. Because this championship means that much to me. And to have that one match at the end of a company's tenure, that's not enough for me. That's not enough for a world champion. So there will be that battle royale at NYX. And one man will get a shot at my championship at One Night Stand. And then after I defend my championship, then me and the next-gen championship are going on the road, taking on any and all comers. So who's going to step up to James Tristan in the next-gen championship? NYX One Night Stand. I can't wait. It's going to be good as visit my old stomping grounds. I was one of the few women of this industry to lay the groundwork for the women to wrestle for this promotion. It's unfortunate that the first go round didn't have a championship for the women's division, but at one night stand, me and seven other women will get an opportunity at the final champ, Parker Prince. We've never crossed paths before, but I admit, she's good. I've also seen her work in Japan. She's on the top of her game right now. So maybe when I take the title from you at one night stand, we'll see each other again in Japan. Good luck, champ.
your best at one I stand. Because Julie Gresham, you will forever and always be a stupid fat bitch. Although I got my start in Detroit Wrestling Federation, NYX is where I hone my craft as an in-ring competitor. No more managing my older brother or some wannabe playboy. No, I finally became a wrestler. So of course I'm going to go back for the final show and for a title shot no less. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. NYX One Night Stand. Hmm. I guess I could take my break from my trail of dominance in Japan to take it back to where it all started. Back in 2016. The revival of New York Extreme Wrestling. If you haven't been living under a rock since NYX shut down back in October, then you should know that I'm definitely in line to become the next Super Japan Pro Wrestling Women's Champion. And being the final NYX Women's Champion, it won't be long before I'm carrying both belts every single place I go. And don't let those old school NYX hasbins like Amazonia fool you. I am and will always be the NYX Women's Division. Yeah, Amazonia and those old hags like Christy Pierce and Vicky Malone may have laid the groundwork for the Women's Division here at NYX, but which one of them was the first and longest reigning Women's Champion here at NYX? Hmm? Oh wait, that was me. <laughs> so which of those a gaggle of losers is going to be my stepping stone to becoming TGE, the greatest ever? <laughs> Hello citizens, did you miss me? Your president of the NYX locker room and the greatest television champion ever We'll defend and retain his position as we take one final trip down memory lane at New York Extreme Wrestling's One Night Stand. I remember the first day I walked through the doors of NYX back in 2000 where I cleaned up the competition with a quickness and quickly established myself as a true locker room leader. I established myself as a true champion winning and holding the television championship for an unprecedented nine months, two weeks and three days within the first year of my career. Thank you, thank you. But enough about that, I am also the only man to hold the NYX Television Championship in the first iteration and the second iteration of this company's existence, making me the greatest of all time. Now, I may have been world champion here in NYX, but it doesn't matter because I made the Television Championship more relevant than the world title. I made it more important than the world title and everybody wanted a piece of me because that championship was everything to this company and as long as I hold it, it will be everything to the entire virtual wrestling industry. So, as I say to you, Mr. Daryl Jones, you want a piece of me? You want to be television champion? Step up and bring everything you've got because the campaign of Casey Hammond will continue 
with or without New York Extreme Wrestling. Thank you all. Hey, Linux. I see you got yourself a shot at the Next Gen Championship at what I stand. Yeah. Once I win that Battle Royal for one on one against James Tristan, then I'm winning that championship. Yeah, you know I'm done with the Next Gen Championship, but I'm still going after that VGW title, so that Rick C had better watch out. All right, when you do that, I'll take care of James Tristan. Yeah, when you bring that Next Gen Championship back to force, and I want you to destroy James Tristan. <laughs> All right, man, I'll see you when you get back. Wanna